Well, uh, we have another question here. Determine the value of uh, the values of A, B, and C. All right. Um, the values of A, B, and C uh, are the are the coefficients of uh, f of x here and the constant term C. Okay. Um, so the this equation here is the equation the one I highlighted here. This is the equation of a quadratic equation. Okay. Um, okay, find six on two. We're looking for the value of A, of B, and also of C. Um, first, what do we know about the quadratic equation? Uh, we do know that uh, f of x is equal to, uh, can be given like this, x squared plus bx plus c. And this is called uh, the standard form of uh, quadratic equation, okay? Standard form of the quadratic equation. Or sometimes f of x can be given by, uh, f of x can be given by a, open bracket, x minus p, close bracket, q, squared over there. And this is called um, the TP form, okay? The, 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 the turning point form. This is where um, uh, P and Q is a turning point. So the turning point here is, is by PQ. Okay. Make it uh, clear. All right. Uh, TP is P and Q. Now, um, what else? We also know that the F of X can be given also by A, open bracket X minus x1, open bracket x minus x2, okay? This is called the intercept form, okay? The x-intercept form. x int form. Where um, the intercepts are x1 and x2. Okay, so now, I'm going to use this information to work out the value of A, B, and C. How can I? Um, first, I'm going to use uh, the, 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 last, uh, the last form of quadratic equation. So now, why am, I, why am I choosing that? Because I can see the, I already have the, we already have the intercepts in this question. So I'm going to do... Um, f of x will be equal to a, which is equal to, um, let me move it a little bit over here. I can, I can just leave it there. x will be, uh, f of x will be a, open bracket, uh, x minus, okay. x minus x1, and then x minus, X2, okay, we can sub in the values of uh, X1 is uh, negative three, so it's negative three, and then it's uh, positive two, so I just write, you can simplify this, F of X will be equal to A, open bracket, X minus minus will be X plus, so X plus three, and then X uh, minus two, that's, um, we got this one, and also we can, um, 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 we have the points D, the given points in the equation. We can sub in the point of the point D in the equation here. Remember, uh, the x coordinate is one, and the y coordinate is, is negative eight. So, so we can sub in here negative eight equal to uh, a open bracket uh, x plus three open bracket x minus two. Now we sub in the values of uh, x. X is uh, one and x1 there, so that will make what? That makes a negative eight equal to, uh, because one plus four, one plus two makes four, and then one times negative two. So here we have like eight times four, and then uh, times negative one. Now let me break this like that. And then uh, over here that makes eight equal to uh, negative four a, right? And then because I need the value of, uh, of uh, a, what I can do 
I will just divide this equation by nickel full. Okay, I divide by nickel five, divide by nickel four there, and then I got uh, two. Therefore, uh, a equal to two. So we got the value of. Now, we still need to find B and C. Okay, I'm gonna move this a little bit this way, and then uh, let me just split my 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 question board. Um, we can use the same info this information now with A. Okay, we can use the same information here, and then I use A also. Uh, we we had f of x was equal to a x minus one, no x minus um, x one, and then x minus x two, right? That was, uh, and then we did find the value of a, a is equal to two, and then um, we did find the value of a. And then we also have the x-intercept. Uh, we had this uh, uh, plus three and minus two, and then a we find plus two. Let's, let's let, let double check. Yes, it is positive two, and then there we already have uh, x plus three, x minus two. Now um, we can sub still the value. Um, we can no, we don't need to sub anything. We can just expand this now. Um, this would be what? Um, two times x makes two x. Two times three makes six. Okay, so we have like two x um, plus six and then x minus two. Now we can see continue. We can do two x times x, that makes two x squared. And then two x times negative two, that makes negative four x. And then six times x, that makes positive six x. And then six times negative two, that makes negative 12. Now, uh, do we have lag, lag terms, like underline lag terms? Two x squared is only there, so it's maybe two x squared. And then um, <coughs> uh, negative four and uh, positive six x, these two can be combined, that makes uh, positive uh, two x. And then uh, we have negative 12 over there. So that makes uh, minus 12. So uh, that f of x. Now we can see in comparison with uh, uh, the first equation here, over here, f of x is ax squared plus bx plus c, the standard form. Then we can also say, uh, we work out uh, this because we have uh, A, which is two, B is positive two still, and then C is negative 12. So here, um, we can just say uh, uh, B equal to two, and then C is uh, negative 12. So. We find the value of A, B, and C. Maybe this is not clear enough. Let me just C equal to negative 12. Thank you.